Dear ladies and gentlemen, good morning everyone and welcome to today's webinar for Klepodosnafta, financial results for first half year of 2016. My name is Indra Milinyana and I am communication manager at Klepodosnafta. I'm pleased to introduce today's host, Mr. Mantas Bartoshka, the CEO of Klepodosnafta and Mr. Marius Pulkauningas, the CFO of the company. Before we proceed with the presentation, I will shortly introduce you via the agenda. First of all, Mr. Bartushka are going to comment on Klipedos Nafta financial results for first half year of 2016 and inform about current events in the company. Then we will be answering questions after the presentation. Also, we would like to hear from you during today's webinar. So, please feel free to send those along using the questions box on your webinar control panel. All questions will be answered after the presentation. And once again, for those of you just joining, welcome to today's session for Klepodos NAFTA financial results for first half year of 2016. Mr. Bartushka, I would like to invite you to start with the presentation. Good morning, dear investors. It is a pleasure for me. Uh, to present the financial results for the first six months of 2016. And um, today, I am together with my colleague, Marius Polkarnikas, which is a, a Finance and Administration Department Director. And uh, we will go uh, through the company's information and financial results as it was informed. And we'll also take a look uh, about the investments plan and, and, the, and projects which are under construction in 2016. Uh, so to start with, uh, for those which uh, may not know very well the company, uh, I will go briefly what we are currently. So the core activities of the company is all terminal operations in Klaipeda port. Uh, then uh, the LNG terminal, uh, operations uh, which uh, which is a strategic object uh, for the Baltics and then in Lithuania and also we operate uh, Subutus fuel base reserve uh, where the state reserve is kept in the mid uh, uh, area of Lithuania and further we are developing LNG small scale project uh, which is under construction in Klaipeda seaport uh, in addition uh, we took uh, and made first steps uh, uh, to develop a, a new area of LNG consultations. Uh, as it was informed, we started with a first consultation agreement in Colombia to assist uh, the Colombia LNG terminal project. And uh, further, we are assessing uh, several uh, large-scale import LNG terminals, uh, whether to assist them or to take part as a, as a partnerships uh, for developing in, in various areas or assessing a small scale LNG terminal developments uh, currently mainly in the Baltic Sea region. Uh, the main characteristics of the old terminal as follows. Uh, we have uh, four tracks uh, where we can uh, reload uh, whether the light fuel oils or heavy fuel oils. Uh, we have a, a tank farm which consists of 450,000 cubic meter storage capacities where we keep uh, heavy fuel oil and uh, light fuel oils. We operate two jetties uh, with a depth of uh, up to 14 meters uh, where we can uh, uh, accommodate uh, uh, the ships up to 2007 uh, meters long um, and then we operate out our tankers uh, loading system where we can import uh, uh, various uh, light fuel oils to Lithuania and, and, and close markets. Uh, the LNG terminal infrastructure consists of th three main parts. This is a FSRU which is uh, chartered for 10 years with a purchase option. Uh, which is capable to regas up to 4 BCM uh, with a uh, capacity to receive up to 170,000 cubes of LNG. Uh, the jetty 
at the pipeline and the gas metering station which connects uh, the terminal to the transmission system. Uh, the terminal itself is fully regulated uh, and uh, this is regulated by Ethiopian national uh, energy re regulators. Uh, the Subitrus fuel base uh, infrastructure consists of a uh, park uh, consisting 66 units and the, the total capacity of flight products that we can keep is uh, around 340,000 uh, cubes. Uh, there is a railway uh, infrastructure where we can receive the products and uh, reload also to outdoor tanks in the area. So, coming to the financial results, we are very pleased and excited to present uh, uh, the performance of the Kyplos NAFTA for the first half of the year. And uh, um, to start with, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is a pleasure to, to, to present that uh, the transshipment of oil products in the first half were at the highest in, uh, in the history. We transshipped more than 4.4 million tons of various oil products uh, together with oil terminal and, uh, and subitrous fuel storage reserve. Uh, the company uh, has significantly increased regasification volumes uh, in the first half of the year uh, up to uh, 9,200 uh, gigawatt hours uh, per first half. Uh, then uh, accordingly, the sales uh, revenues and the net profit uh, for the first half increased and were at the highest uh, level in the history, respectively more than 57 million euro of revenues and more than uh, 11 uh, million uh, euro uh, a profit for the first half. Accordingly, the shares uh, represented uh, the performance of Clivus NAFTA. So, if we take a look uh, of the historical performance, we see uh, the nice uh, growth of revenues uh, from uh, around 45 million uh, last year, uh, which grew up to 57 million euro uh, this year. EBITDA increased accordingly from 17.5 to 19.5 and the net profit uh, jumped uh, from 9.5 to 11.7 uh, and we see significant increase even compared to, uh, with the results of 2014. Uh, the main financial figures uh, are represented accordingly. Uh, the gross profit increased by 14.2 percent and uh, the return on equity uh, is amounted to 12.5 percent which is higher than last year uh, increasing from 8.4 percent and uh, profit per share uh, consists of uh, 3 cent per share for the first six months in 2016 and it's increased uh, by 24 percent compared to last year results. Uh, the structure of revenues and EBITDA based on operating segments are as follows. Um, uh, so uh, 20 million is uh, related to oil terminal operations, um, more than 32 million euro is related to LNG terminal operations which are fully regulated as I, as I mentioned uh, last year and 1 million uh, is, is uh, referred to Subitrus and this year we jumped to close to two, 22 million euro for the oil terminal operations, uh, more than 34 for LNG terminal operations and 1.4 for Subitrus Fuel Reserve. Uh, the assets, the total assets uh, uh, comprise of 24, 20, 245 million euro. Uh, main, main part is uh, long-term assets uh, which represents the infrastructure uh, picture 
of our balance sheet. Uh, the total equity of the company uh, consists more than 190 million uh, euro, and as you see, the company is low leverage, so uh, representing a solid balance with the potential uh, for further increase of uh, leverage and, and developing uh, for the infrastructure projects. Uh, the uh, net profit uh, for the oil terminal uh, increased from 8 million last year to 8.7 million uh, this year. Uh, EBITDA is reflected uh, a bit less from to, uh, 12 million point six, jumped to 12.8. Uh, this year, and uh, the, the uh, positive uh, operations uh, were basically impacted by higher transshipment volumes, where we have increased the transshipment volumes from 3.2 million up to 4.3 million, uh, with a significant uh, increase, uh, which is 35 percent compared to the last year results. Uh, the transshipment, uh, the oil transshipment is mainly impacted uh, by performance of uh, Majeke refinery, where we received the products from Orlan, uh, and we have seen uh, the uh, nice performance of the refinery working on, on uh, highest capacity, which is uh, directly impacting uh, the results of, of our terminal. And further, we have seen the increase of transit uh, products, uh, which mainly comes from Belarusian oil refineries. Uh, so as a total, uh, we, we see uh, the growth of transshipment volumes up to 35% uh, this year. Uh, Subitious fuel reserve, uh, revenues jumped from 1.1 million euro to 1.4. Uh, representing uh, stable uh, growth by increasing the efficiency and, uh, and uh, commercial uh, uh, operations in, uh, in Subutra's field reserve. Uh, the LNG terminal uh, performance is uh, as great as well. Uh, the revenues uh, consist of uh, 34.1 million euro for the first half and it is a bit higher than last year. Uh, the net profit uh, consists of 2.6 million euro for this year, which is uh, doubling uh, compared to last year. Uh, however, as, as it was mentioned, it is fully regulated, and uh, uh, during uh, the uh, regulated uh, year, we should earn around 4.5 million euro profit. So those differences which we accumulated uh, will be uh, reallocated uh, for further, uh, for following periods, for, for, for the next years. Um, the main uh, terminal users uh, this year are Lidgas, uh, which is importing LNG uh, as a strategic LNG supply in Lithuania. Uh, then uh, Ahema started uh, importing LNG at the beginning of uh, 2016, and uh, Litvos was due as a midstreamer in Lithuania, is importing LNG as well in Lithuania uh, market. As a total, uh, during six months, we received 10 LNG cargos, and uh, which have been delivered around. Uh, 625,000 tons of LNG. Uh, what is uh, important that uh, on 6th of June 2016, the new terminal uh, uh, were approved for, for the LNG terminal, which increases the uh, flexibility and availability for the small-scale LNG reload. So we are uh, preparing ourselves uh, uh, to do the first LNG reloads for the small scale, where we see the, the huge interest in, in the Baltic uh, uh, region. Uh, as well, uh, we have uh, concluded the terminal booking uh, procedure, uh, 
for the next gas year, which starts uh, at the end of uh, September 2016 to, to the end of September uh, 2017. Uh, two terminal users have booked uh, the partial capacities, and these are Litgas, which is a strategical supplier in Lithuania, and the midstreamer, it was due to Kimas, uh, booked some capacities as well. Uh, coming to the projects and investments in 2016, it is worth to mention that we continue uh, the project development of uh, LNG small scale reloading station in Kaipeda, uh, which is uh, going well according to the plan. And the total investment to the reloading station amounts around 27.7 uh, .7 million uh, euro. And uh, the first uh, bullets were already uh, constructed and tested. Uh, so we expect uh, the first uh, testing uh, uh, trucks uh, to be tested at the mid of 2017. And after, uh, after uh, commissioning and testing period to start the operations uh, close to 2018. Uh, other investment projects which are under development uh, and which are, were approved uh, by the shareholders, uh, we are expanding our uh, reloading uh, capacities for all terminal, uh, where we construct uh, the uh, small tanks which will be dedicated for the light uh, uh, product uh, uh, tank farm. Uh, then uh, we are constructing uh, the, the tanks which will be dedicated for fuel oil with the water, uh, uh, for the water uh, treatment in, in the port of Klaipeda. And uh, we are further expanding the truck reloading capacities. Uh, as, uh, in addition, on 21st of July, uh, the shareholders uh, have approved uh, the expansion of uh, railway uh, track uh, where we will invest around 5.5 .5 million euro uh, to be prepared uh, uh, and to, to diversify our portfolio for the heavy fuel oil uh, transshipments. Um, talking uh, about the further expansion, we are assessing at the moment uh, uh, the second investment plan, uh, where we evaluate uh, the feasibility to reload, uh, to, 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 to invest uh, two rail tracks, uh, which uh, uh, would be dedicated for various uh, uh, oil products and also petrochemical products, and further to increase the tank farm. Uh, close to the first jet. And together with the port, uh, we are assessing the plan to reconstruct our existing two jetties by building uh, uh, a new ones uh, with a f uh, possibility uh, to more three tanks at the same time. Uh, this year we have already invested uh, uh, 8.7 million euro. Uh, which was mainly dedicated for the LNG small scale reloading station. Uh, we are also investing to the oil terminal, and the forecast for, for the second half is uh, around 17 million euro, uh, which uh, are representing our continuous investments in, in the projects uh, that we under development. Uh, the company uh, is uh, is uh, grateful uh, that we were successful to sign the contract with Neo Group uh, for assisting them uh, to develop uh, the bed granules uh, expansion, and we are assisting them as a project managers uh, to make sure that the project is delivered on time. The project itself uh, is around 50 million uh, euro. Uh, to, to construct uh, additional uh, uh, infrastructure facilities. And as a company, we continuously 
work closely with the universities in order to uh, increase the competence uh, around the Klaipeda area, uh, to have a strong team around us uh, uh, to, to, to perceive uh, our high goals that we set in our strategy. Uh, so thank you for your attention and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions uh, that we have. Mr. Bartuszka, thank you for the presentation. We will now continue with our questions in the order they were received. But before, I would like to remind you that you can still send your questions in the section on the right side of the screen. The first question was received in advance, and it is the following. The company makes investments to oil terminal. Are they for renewal of old infra infrastructure or for expansion? And so thank you very much uh, for your question. And as I uh, touched a bit uh, with the presentation, uh, so main investments are for the expansion, increasing the flexibility and increasing the diversification uh, for the terminal in order to be capable uh, to cope with virus products at the same time to accumulate uh, uh, the tank. Uh, and uh, uh, in order to operate efficiently in, in, in Clarepeda. Thank you, Mr. Bartuszka. There is one more question. In first half of 2016, LNG terminal regasified 3.5 times more gas compared to half year 2015. What is the main reason of such growth? New users of LNG terminal or higher demand? Uh, thank you very much uh, once again uh, for a great uh, question. Uh, so, uh, to begin with, uh, the new terminal users came at the beginning of this year, January. Uh, Nisa Ahema and uh, it was Dutekimas, and uh, they booked the capacities, and uh, they are importing LNG for their uh, needs, and this was mainly impacted uh, due to uh, the change in, in the market, and uh, basically showing uh, uh, the results of uh, LNG terminal, the need of LNG terminal, because it was built for the reason. Uh, to deliver the availability, the alternative sources uh, to the market. And once uh, the LNG traders were capable uh, to receive different uh, uh, LNG supplies, uh, they evaluated the most economical one and uh, they decided to import LNG being uh, the most uh, efficient and economical solution uh, uh, for the time being, uh, this uh, has directly impacted uh, the results of uh, regasifications. So up to September, uh, the Lithuanian market is mainly supplied uh, by LNG uh, this year. It looks like we've covered all of our questions so far. We are still waiting for more questions to come in. If you have not sent in your questions yet, please do so now. Mr. Bartuszka, is there is anything else you wanted to add? So while we are waiting uh, the questions, uh, I'm uh, grateful to inform uh, that uh, the company has uh, amended the bylaws by introducing and amending them in, in to represent uh, the good corporate governance uh, practices um, by changing uh, bylaws and we believe that those changes will allow for the company uh, to be well represented and uh, make uh, making the decisions uh, uh, very efficiently in order to receive the goals uh, that we have set in, in the company's strategy. 
One more question arrived. Year 2016 is really successful for the company, not only in the business area, but in the securities market also. Liquidity and price of shares increase, and Clipidus NAFTA shares are one of the most traded in the Baltic market. Do you think about possibility to increase the share capital by attracting additional capital to the company from the capital market in the future? And one more. What the main capital sources could be for the company in financing Clipidus NAFTA main business project? I'm forwarding this question to our company CFO, Marius Pulkauningas. Hello, everyone. This is Marius Pulkauningas, the CFO of the company. So, thank you for your question. Uh, uh, we are also cap and looking to the capital market and looking at our company's uh, share price and liquidity. And uh, answering your question, we are thinking of uh, all possible possibilities to attract the financing to the company. As our CEO mentioned, that uh, uh, currently we have very low uh, loans from the banks, very low loans level. So first of all, the first source of financing that we are considering is uh, attracting the new loans if needed. The second uh, option would be issuing bonds in the market, and uh, increasing the capital would be the third possibility which we are considering. But at this moment. We see that we uh, can, we are earning uh, sufficient uh, cash flows from our operations to finance our investment, and also we have possibility to, to borrow the loans from the banks. Because uh, currently there are very good uh, opportunities or market conditions to borrow the loans, and uh, increase the capital would be the third options uh, that we are considering. Thank you for your questions. The next one and one more question is arrived. When is it planned to sell shares of company Lidgas? Thank you for the second question. So um, currently, as you probably know and uh, as we have uh, announced in our uh, public announcements, that Clipto uh, staff is obliged to sell the shares of uh, Lidgas and currently we are in the process of uh, selling the shares and hope uh, that the process will be finalized in the quite foreseen future. Looks like there are there is one more question. Lithuania Belarus relations intensifies regarding Kostrav nuclear power plant. Will this affect Klipados NAFTA results? Mr. Bartuska? Uh, thank you very much uh, for your question. Uh, so uh, as you uh, touched, uh, we hear that uh, there are a lot of discussions uh, around the uh, power plant. Uh, however, at the moment we don't see the direct uh, impact uh, to the flows uh, of uh, oil products uh, from uh, Belarus. Russia. Uh, however, I should uh, add uh, that uh, uh, currently uh, due to the disagreements between Russia and Belarus, uh, the oil supplies uh, for, uh, for the coming months uh, were decreased by Russians, meaning that uh, the Belarusian refineries uh, decreased their uh, uh, refining uh, capacities, and uh, this uh, might have uh, uh, the negative uh, effects uh, for, for the coming months for, for oil terminal and Krakuda as uh, we uh, receive uh, heavy fuel oil and light products um, from those two refineries which are operated in Belarus. Uh, however, we expect uh, that uh, the oil supplies from Russia should be solved uh, in, in the near future, so the refineries uh, could restart uh, uh, the operations on, on the full capacities. There is one more question. What are your relationship with the second biggest shareholder, Ahemos Krupe, Mr. Bartuska? Thank you very much uh, for the question. So, uh, uh, as the company operates uh, the terminal, oil terminal and LNG terminal in Klaipeda, uh, we are uh, 
uh, aware that uh, HEMA is importing LNG through LNG terminal, which we are very happy with. Uh, so far, we uh, we gasified all um, the booked capacities um, that the terminal users uh, required. Um, uh, following, uh, HEMA is uh, owning the competing oil terminal in Clypeda. Uh, so we have a small competition in, uh, in light oil products uh, transshipment. Uh, and further, which is uh, the main uh, point, is that HEMA is a small uh, shareholder uh, of Clypeda's NAFTA. So these are the main relationships uh, which uh, uh, are, are related to between Clypeda's NAFTA and the HEMA so far. So, ladies and gentlemen, looks like there are no more questions. So, on behalf of Clypeda's NAFTA, thank you, everyone. It was a pleasure being with you today. A record of the presentation will be available in the NASDAQ Baltic YouTube channel webinar playlist, and you will receive a follow-up email as well if you are directly linked to today's recording. Mr. Bartuszka, thank you for your time. Participants, thank you for joining. I hope to see you next time.